Hello, Neil everyone. Neil Wokia was my father. <laughs> Perfect. That's how we're starting it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm here with another guest, a.k.a. Ghost, because this is based off of the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. I'm here with Neo. Say hello, Neo. Hello. I'm, I'm Neo. I'm funny on Twitter. And yeah. Or... Exactly. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for agreeing to be here. And we're here with a game that is called Michigan... Rec- record to hell i think is what it's called i don't know which one of these is the right thing i don't even remember what it's called it's called michigan all i know is that it's an old suit of 51 game and it is a mystery uh horror game of some kind that's all we know <laughs> so michigan report from hell report from hell so that just automatically report. sounds amazing we're gonna get a uh <laughs> intro i looked this up it's uh, like Moral. It's like never come out in North America or something like that, <laughs> and like, like nobody, like even like like Suda doesn't even know this game exists. Like, <laughs> that's like somebody told him about it, and he was like, "Oh, I, I didn't know they that it, it came out." Like, <laughs> it's just like I didn't know they finished it. Look at this amazing intro we've got so far. We got Chicago morals and recording going on. <laughs> there's there's a lot happening, really. There's a lot to drink in. Yeah, for sure. This definitely feels like something Suda51 may have given money to complete and said, okay, yeah, sure, do this. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> like, that... Everything that comes out with that that dude's stamp on it is uh, is insane. So I'm very curious to see... Yeah, it's true. What, I, what actually you, this is. You can criticize Grasshopper for the way their games play, but you cannot criticize them for be- making the most weirdest games you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, and like, what is this like? Like, it feels like have you ever seen like Intervention, like the the old show on like, <laughs> like I forget what. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's all the words like flashing up on the screen. <laughs> it, like, it, it does. It totally does. <laughs> like, it's so. This is such a weird. It's also going on for way too long. I was yeah, trying. Oh to... my gosh, I'm so startled. Oh my god. It looks like paranormal activity as well because of the What the fuck? I can't wait to play this and it's like nothing happens for the first hour. That's <laughs> gonna think, be my <laughs> the I real think bummer. This is the alternate uh, this is actually the alternate intro to the office. I think that's what this is. <laughs> Scranton. This is the one they didn't use. We were like, we can't use this one. We tried to push uh, the office to be inside Michigan. And it did not work. Basic controls, left analog, move cameraman, right analog stick, change camera direction, L2, ram, ram? hold down for a powerful shove. Ram, yeah, and X, focus on object in view. Okay. Now loading, yeah. and the loading... Whoa, so what the, the fuck? Man, huh? I hear you're a rookie. The name's a rookie. Brisco. Hello, Brisco. Brisco? Nice to meet you. Like Crisco, That's almost. Nice. I'm, I'm Pamela. You've Hello. Seen her before, haven't Boom you? is in the shot, by the way. You have to move that. This is also Wait, in... Where is Pamela? That's a good question. Hey, I'm the cameraman. I should find her. To be teamed up with Pamela right up the bat. Is she over there? Oh, there she is. Is that her? Don't go getting any well, what is she doing? All... About her, you hear me? I guess this guy is trying to give me the of lowdown on Pamela. Pamela. Probably wouldn't give you the time of day anyway. He's like, huh. he's like, she's hot as hell, but she wouldn't be interested in you. She loves, me. she likes me the most. <laughs> exactly. Check out my giant boom mic. Ladies love a giant boom mic. You seen my huh? Kermit Oop. the Frog t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, if you want to get ladies, you wear that shirt. That shirt what actually looks. That? Oh shit! I can move. It looks like Kermit and the Dragon Quest slime created some sort of. <laughs> The unholy oh, god shoot. creation move near Blair Briscoe. So let me see. I can actually move. Here's the one thing that's kind of a bummer. Is I think the... What is it called? When the camera is not going the way you want it to? What's the other way oh, of doing it's inverted. it? inverted? Yes. The camera is yeah, inverted. If you, if you pause it, maybe there's a... Like maybe there's like settings. Okay. Try focusing on the box. What box? The box. There it is. Okay. Of oh, that box. Okay, you so have to this... hold X. Yeah, there you go. It's just an ordinary box. It's just box. an ordinary box. <laughs> All right, hello, Briscoe. 
Fine. I have not points. moved from Briscoe. <laughs> I really want to see how my guy is looking right now. Holding So the thing in that I have right now actually is giving me the movement as if I'm holding a big-ass camera. So it does not actually focus exactly where I want it. So it's just constant. Yeah, it's just constantly going back and forth, which is really weird. Get out there and make it. And you can't just stand there like a stick. All right, dude. Stick. Up high, down low. All right, let me just check out your shoes real quick. From every angle. All right, not not bad. No, an honest no. boom, an honest boom operators. You know, salary or, yeah. or hourly wage. You know, probably. Get... I think this guy's doing what he's got. He's got an awesome shirt. He's got this going on. So let me see. If I focus in on stuff, I think it wants me to do stuff. Okay, let me go over here now. Oh, There's Jesus. Okay, so I can't oh, focus on her. If you focus on the reporter and lock onto her, you can move along with her and keep the camera steady on her. Okay, so if I... Okay, so if I hold A... Oh, okay, so then it's kind of oh, like this... Lock on almost. Yeah, this weird this uh, this feels borderline voyeuristic. This is <laughs> this does feel extremely yeah. strange. Go back also, like, screen. let's just stand outside, and I'm gonna explain to a camera operator how the camera works. I know I went to hey, school for to this. to test out to test to test out your equipment. Go just like get in the face of the reporter and just point your camera right in her face. Right also, down her like, chest. Strafe around her like you're in a video okay. game. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to think what the, the uh, as a Devil May Cry where you lock on to dudes and you can just like spin around them in circles. Yeah, like DMC and like like Zelda has that. Like Zelda has that <laughs> really Zelda intense totally lock on. The Z targeting around people. Okay. Yeah. Go. All right, sounds Easy good. Now. Try ramming into Briscoe. Not fucking. Not too hard though. <laughs> okay. So me. Hey. You told Bye. me. I guess you got the hang of it. Yeah, damn right. Hey, punch hey, punch me in the face real quick. Ow, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. too hard, dude. Don't do that to me, man. All right, Prisco. What do you want me to do now? So you're the new guy, huh? Oh shit. I'm Hello. Pamela. Pamela Martell. Nice to meet you. Whoa. That is okay, a suit of man. I'm borrowing the new guy until we start shooting. Try, no, I tried. I honestly, it it was the camera control. I did not try and do that on purpose. <laughs> Don't. Don't be late for the take. There we go. It can be tough. This is a good new shot. Yeah, you see what you mean? How it kind of like rocks back and team, forth. Okay? Yeah. All right. Don't mind Briscoe. He's always like that. Let's go. He's a really dependable okay, guy, wait. though. He'll be a big help to I swear, man, sometimes the camera, oh, I'm just trying to learn the controls. Thing. This is where the camera what? focuses on, by the way. Get I'm not <laughs> crazy is but it's not the only thing you're recording all opinion. of this. Like, the, example, the camera guy is wasting film on what is essentially help, a work kind of introduction. You know, like, oh, here's yeah. how I want you to do your job. I'm filming all of this, by the way. Please do not. Hello? Of course, what the hell? Shooting decisions. In some of the movie scenes, it's possible to stop shooting and pressing... Wait, what? I did not read all of that. I was just about to trip over that board. Thank you. So that's Whoa. the way you work, is it? I oh, so you press triangle if that's she's fine. about to eat shit on a board. Oh, yeah, I, I can do that. If you hadn't warned me about that board, you might have gotten a little scoop on me. All right. I was very helpful. A little, well, a little scoop? I guess we'd better head back to the news van. Yeah, I don't like the way she said that. It feel it we felt walked like very two, weird. We walked like two feet. Like, what do you mean? Like, we didn't do anything. This listen. This is what we can get from Michigan. All right, the Michigan news team is different from how yeah. we do it in the big city. <laughs> but Michigan report. An unusual uh, usually dense, dense fog covers the southwest. I fuck. I couldn't. The federal government so. has advised evacuation of cities in the area, including Chicago. I'm Chicago, a fast reader, as they call as I call it. There's no official word on the Fogs case. Oh yeah, I was gonna call it Cisco, but no, that's what people call Fran San Francisco. <laughs> San Fran Brisco, more like it. Ah, uh, we should go back to Brisco and tell him about his new awesome nickname. Let him know. John, John Felipe? Felipe Brisco. That's a name. That's a and good a name. 
That's the that's what I bet Suda Fifty One brought to this. He's like, I'm gonna name all these characters. Her name's Pamela Martell. This man's John Felipe Briscoe. Wake up! <laughs> yeah. Everyone was like, Briscoe, really? <laughs> like, dude, are you sure? He's like, Briscoe, do it. Trust me, it's my mail my check. <laughs> make the make the rest of the game whatever you want, but that guy's name is Briscoe. All right, this is see you later. A lifetime opportunity. Let's get it right oh, look, the little Kermit thing is in the oh. background. Oh. Good evening, everyone. This is Pamela Martel. This is some great lip sync. We report tonight on a strange phenomena. They were doing wow. their best in the PS2 era. The cause of which is still unknown has cropped up in the western area of Lake Michigan. This is like the worst graphics of Silent Hill combined with like PS1 Resident Evil, like a port of Resident Evil 2. No, you're right. There is a difference. To the PS2. It's a random woman out in the fog. What happened to you? Oh god, it's like Blair Witch running. Ah. Totally is. Oh shit! She's Whoa! Got oh, she's got tomato sauce all over her. <laughs> she's got the cursed mark from the Uchiha. The same thing that she happened. Said, I, 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 had, I had never tried a Chicago style. Uh, <laughs> deep oh, what the deep. fuck? Wait, what's what happening? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on? Okay, I was not actually prepared for that. <laughs> wait, they're going. They're just gone. The fuck it. She's gone. What was that? We're not that far away from it. Yeah, it's actually still right there. Like if you turn around, it's probably right behind you, ready to eat you. Calm down. How do you expect me to calm down? It's gonna be all right. Wait. Are you just going to stand there filming? Turn that camera yeah. off. I tell you. That's my job. What do you mean? Right yeah, this is some great ass news going on right now. Oh, she's about to. Idiot. I've had it working with losers like Oh, she's totally you. fucking dead, I'm isn't she? Up with some other team. Uh, what? Just keep quiet. Behind you. Oh, she's totally fucking dead. Whoa. Thinking, you can order me Monster! around. Huh? <laughs> Holy... <laughs> yeah, sure. Save. Would you like to save? Memory card. All right. Saved in there. Totally, totally saved in my legit memory card in my PS2 oh. that I hooked up to this. My God. Yeah, that, w that went from like, all right, here's a very simple tutorial to everything has gone bad. So yeah, what? Okay, so that weird creature was already on her or did she become it? Let's actually digest what we just saw. I think I think it like aliened out of her like chest. Oh, like a chest burster situation? Yeah. Hmm. Cuz it she like morphed into she she did, did kind of like an anamorph like maneuver. <laughs> oh man. Where she like... became that thing. She became um like the weird like lake creature from Resident Evil 4 but with legs. Yeah, actually movable. Uh, I I think a horror game based off of Animorphs. I don't know why they haven't actually made that because all the covers of Animorphs are already <laughs> horrifying. So now Youth we have reporter and Anderson. Anderson. So every like new chapter it feels search us hell but didn't find any survivors. So does that mean like all we found was evidence that some gruesome incident had occurred? Dude, I caught it on tape. I totally <laughs> caught our newswoman getting eaten by some kind of fucking creature. Alright, back in it. So I think... So based on that, I only have 34 minutes. Do you see? Yeah. The fruit is starting to rot. So that's crazy, if I run out of tape, then that means the game just ends. Right? <laughs> I think that's what it's I, implying here. I guess, right? That would make sense. All right, let me actually. I can't. Oh god, I can't change the controls. All right, we're gonna do. No, you're this. just gonna have to adapt. Exactly. Okay, so there's blood all over the floor. Apparently, you're not advanced enough to step over that chair. No, I'm not. There's a blood stain here. It must have been a really gruesome incident. Wow, all this right. guy's this guy's a real detective. Whoever this guy is. Yeah, it's me, John Cameraman. Hello, it's our new new lady. But well, now she's in that room. Nobody in this what? room either. What do you mean, what did I find anybody in that room? There, it was oh, like, it's half the size of this room. You could, 
You could have answered that question yourself. You're the reporter. Just peek your head in. Look around. The Who news was there? The news media, even in the 2000s, was not the best. Yeah, clearly we don't care about the truth. The other team hey, the cameraman off. who's here on minimum wage. <laughs> you do see mind anybody you. in there? Be like, oh, oh, I didn't see anybody. Oh, that would actually be the ultimate ending of this game, is that when it's all out done, you get your, like, your check after going for all that, and it's like, here you go, like you $10. did $10. $10 for a cameraman's work. Yeah, well, we were going to give you seven fifty nine, um, but uh, you didn't even film for 30 minutes. So Come on. Uh, we're going to give you $7. Sounds about right. I'm going to get a real good shot here. Close up. Yeah, make sure you make sure you get her. Get get her uh, get her get her face. Oh, She's pretending to be concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. No, yeah, look at that. No. This is going to get us the Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize yeah. for news reporting the for me. Pulitzer. <laughs> for, for her great camera work. This is going to get us uh, a big a big award at this the Streamies or whatever <laughs> they have for this crap. Whatever they have for a cameraman who reports terrible things happening. And in our next category, uh, top cameraman documentation of a horribly gruesome supernatural incident, we have one guy, John Cameraman. You've won. Come on down. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everyone that made this possible. Pamela for getting eaten and just cursing me out. If it wasn't for her, I would have never been able to do what I want to do now. Yep. And of course, Jean Philippe. Uh, taught me everything. <laughs> Tell me everything, especially how to assault a coworker. <laughs> they cut to Crisco in the crowd and he's crying, like clapping his hands. Can't believe you made like, it I so did far. Do that. I did teach him how to shove me. That's right, I can't shove. Somebody's in trouble. Alright, let's go help her. At least she cares about this person. Yes. Somebody's in trouble. We don't have the boom guy with us? No, I think he's downstairs. Alright. Focus. Where's downstairs? Oh no, there we go. I think you're supposed to follow her. Yeah, Wait, do you just have to like... She takes like two steps and you just have to stand there with her before she decides she's ready to keep walking? Yeah, I think so. God, early 2000s game design. It was something else. To be fair, I this... I how people did it. This predates uh, Gears of War with the walk and talk. The because but before the year two thousand eight, when Gears of War came out and Marcus Phoenix put a finger to his ears and talked to someone to give him the story, no one in video games had ever figured out we could have characters talk and walk at the same time. Is that true? Yeah, if you think if you remember back to how games used to be, no one ever used to do that until Gears of War popularized it. Then after Gears popularized it, a lot more people did it. That's crazy. Yeah, wait. Okay, I can focus it on the door and I'll make her open it. X button to go through? Yeah, sure. I forget that because this is a PS2 game that released on Not America, the controls are different. So X means... Yeah, they're confirm. awful, you mean? Yes. <laughs> That's the, the, the right way of saying it. What a brisco, that guy. He's a true brisk. What do you need a boom guy for, anyway? You're on location. You're good. Just hold a mic. It's 2005. We have that technology. <laughs> it's true. There's it a lot be, of... It might be 2005. I actually don't know, because they told us it was August. That's true. We should actually pay attention to it, because it gives us, like... Did you just hear that laugh? I totally just did hear that laugh. I feel like I should not be this close to her because if she dies, I need to be able to run away. But yeah, at the same just time, give her I... some space. Yeah, give her some space. You bravely go first. I will. Yeah, yeah, you got it. She and look at that. Like she doesn't give a shit. No, like, she's actually. walking through this hallway with blood all over it. Like she just doesn't care. She's like, I gotta get to the elevator. I gotta go hit up uh, Crisco. Exactly. We gotta go working. talk to the brisk. The oh. elevators are still working. I would never exclaim on, that in surprise <laughs> and then step in. into an elevator. 
Are you high, woman? You almost sounds like her dialogue was maybe made by a Japanese studio who has a the scoop in the game. Wait, it's... erotic points? I can get erotic points. Oh, this is a Suda Fifty One game, so yes, there are erotic points in it. I, it, it feels silly for me not to realize. How are you? What about anything that is happening right now? Is erotic. Is erotic. Wait for it, man. Who's playing the piano? Okay, yeah, let's run towards the piano. That's a good idea. She's like sprinting. Imagine if you like. <laughs> Like, you just in a normal occurrence, like, somebody's like, who, hey, who's playing that piano? And just starts, like, booking it, like, <laughs> like probably Forrest somebody who's... Brisco. Dude, what are you it's Briscoe. He's You're talented. Briscoe? Oh, Anne. Oh, he's really broken up about Anne. Anne. I can't play this. Isn't this Anne? No, this is, Anne died, remember? Oh. No, this is Ann Anderson, right? Wasn't the other one Pamela, uh, oh, no, Pamela? Right. Oh, yeah, Pamela right. Briscoe or something? Oh, Pam Pam? I don't know. We only were with her for a short bit. John Pamela. Close up on his crying face. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. He is talking about Pamela. It would be kind of what on were the you nose. Gonna, what, what was he supposed to do? Hit it with the boom mic? Well, I guess he could have tried that. He was like, I can't use this boom. This this thing is clearly a weapon. <laughs> to be fair, we did just kind of stand there and say, Hey, Pamela, don't. Get, there's something behind you instead of actually trying to do anything. It's like, what am I going to tell her parents? I don't know. Tell her, tell her parents that a giant monster ate her. And you had a boom mic and you didn't do anything she about it. Threw herself into a rock. <laughs> He's also sounding is drunk, he, it sounds like. Is he dr oh, oh, is that a bottle? I think? Where? On the uh, piano? I loved her. Oh, oh yeah, 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 right. yeah, you're right, you're right. Crazy about Pamela. Yeah, I told up? you. I told you yeah. he was into Pamela. He totally was. This is gonna to get this is a slap. great shot. You had so, a chance to say goodbye. When you were screaming, wait, turn around, there's a monster, you could have said goodbye, Pamela. I love you, by the way. And then yeah. she gets killed. I love you. And goodbye. Wait, what? Peace out. That's the perfect time to tell someone you love them, is just moments before you get totally killed. Really your only chance, honestly, when you work with somebody every single day for years. Like, what other chance do you have to... You know, Tell talk me. to them about that yeah. stuff. It's not, it doesn't come up every day, you know? Exactly. You're just That's her, you're just, you know, it's a simple story of a boom mic operator who just fell over heels for the, the woman who Let's really go. broke come down on. when danger actually started. Yeah, a really common, a really common story, honestly. Yeah. That happened, that happened to uh, a, a guy I know uh, once, you know, it, he he had, he was a boom mic operator, and his yeah. his love interest was a reporter, and she got eaten by a giant uh, goop okay. chest bursting monster <laughs> uh, in Chicago as well. It it's, happens every time. Every, it's very common. That's why they tell you Chicago is so dangerous. Is that they think it, oh it's the gangs? No, it's the giant chest bursting yeah, monsters it, that roam it's, Chicago. It's honestly the it's the media, dude. They want to convince you oh, that it's sure. it's something other than giant chest bursting monsters. It's really disgusting, and it's been happening since uh, when did this game come out in 2004. Nobody wants to talk about it. Also, I, I would, would like to point out that I'm pretty sure when we started this level, uh -huh. you were like, oh, I only have 32 minutes of film. Oh, I have way more time. Where did she you go? Like I was so focused minutes. on Felipe's face, I didn't see where the fuck she went. Oh, this is bad. I think I may have lost. I may have lost my reporter. Where the fuck did no, you go? She's, if you, she's no, she's probably here. It's it's probably fine, right? Isn't she like down the hallway? Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. Let's see if we can find her real quick. Anybody here? Oh, so if I'm not near her, I don't pick up what she says. Wait. What is this? Wait, what was that? Trying to. You like hold X, right? Uh, no, I don't think on this case. Because of the red, it makes me seem like I might need her around. 
But I don't know where she is. So we gotta go back and find her. Was that a plant? A oh, huge spot as fuck that. I'm not going in there. What? That's Anne is in danger! Again. Oh no! Save her. Where is Anne from the fighter? Oh. I didn't yeah, make just it. Punch her. Just punch her. Just punch her. What are you? I saved you. Thank you. That oh, jeez. She thankfully she didn't notice the fifty times I was spamming it to get her out of safety. Hey, away. hey, hey! What are you doing? Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought yeah, you we were just, just gotta let her catch. We just gotta let her catch up to herself. Her, yeah, exactly. Her programming. So bizarre. I Everything... think there's a, a fresco on the floor. Is that a is there? for her to drink? Oh, there is. Yeah, it looks like some some kind of a diet, some kind of sprite, perhaps. Oh, it's water. Oh, it's diet just water. Sprite. Okay. Oh, I thought it. I thought it. I, yeah, <laughs> I thought it was a. I thought it was a nice, cool, refreshing Sprite Zero. I, you know, you never know with these things. It's true. Oh, let me. I guess we were getting something for Briscoe to help sober <laughs> him may, up. It, it may have been an insure. Uh, instant meal drink or, or whatever those things are. <laughs> or a yeah. soylent. One of those two things. I swear, by the way, that again, this is where the lock on decides to put the No, camera. no, I'm sure. For Yeah, I'm sure. I just have to bring it up. I'm saying I will gladly own it when I'm doing it, but not when the game is doing it. <laughs> There's a difference. The game is making me do this, by the way. Exactly. Mm. Nice refreshing. Okay. I mean, wait. Covering the news. <laughs> Dude, I need that. I need. I need that kind of water. Is that Michael's secret stuff? Like, what did he just yeah. drink that just automatically made him feel better? Okay, got it. The van's outside. Crisco, his secret fuel that gives him his powers. Oh, the Cisco drink. All right. Hold up, actually, because I can. Oh, what the hell? This is when I pause it, I think. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, we're into this. Okay, good. Oh, somebody's dying right now. Oh. What the hell is that? What? Dude, these levels are insane. Cause, like, <laughs> nothing happens for, like, 12 minutes. And you get lulled into this false sense of security. Like, this game is stupid and pointless. And then, like, just... With the oh, gun? With the gun? I can... I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that loading screen said a reporter always comes with their gun handy. Is she gonna bust out a pistol? Because I think that would be an amazing turn of events. This really is Chicago. <laughs> it's not gangs. It's not chest bursting monsters. It's white women reporters <laughs> with guns. Roman the streets. Alright, so let me see. Oh, so if I. Fire! Oh, so I had to point to them and then she, she fucking opens oh! fire on them. Yeah, she just wastes them. Get it! She's got a good fucking shot, too. What the fuck? She's like Hawkeye. Exactly. And I think I'll pause it here and we'll continue this on the next part because this is almost 30 minutes long, but... Alright, we'll continue this on the next part. Say goodbye to the people, Neo. Goodbye. Thank thanks for watching.